Making the decisions on behalf of your hearing impaired child regarding what will be his outcome is really hard because what you decide he has to live with and this is a decision you're making essentially from a very young age that will stay with him the rest of his life. We put a lot of effort into making our decisions. We spent a lot of time researching and spending time with various people who had had various outcomes. We spent a lot of time with the deaf community to see is, is this what's going to work for him and for our family because it doesn't help if it works for him but he can't be a part of the family. We also spent a lot of time looking into different means of amplification. What it ultimately came down to, and I recognize that our situation was a little unique, was a little two and a half year old handing me his hearing aids crying and signing to me that they were broken when really it was his ears that were broken. At that point, we knew that he had decided that he wanted amplification and he wanted speech. And so that's how we made that decision. She has finished her cochlear implant candidacy process and she's actually scheduled to have a cochlear implant in the next few months. So we're hoping that, you know, that's going to enable her to develop speech um, in the near future.